first things first, plant-based homestead, we don't eat animals. We don't eat the byproducts from our animals with the exception of honey. Uh, we sell the eggs at our farm stand or we donate them to the local food pantry. It's not a political thing for me or anything like that. It's just, I feel like I can't kill my animals and so I should, should eat them. That's all, more power to you if you do. Um, so a couple of things here, rather than retrofit animals to jobs and say like, oh, I really like this sheep over here. What job can I give it? It's the opposite. It's just like filling a job, a career. What I do is I have a need and I research the best animal to fill that need for me. This ensures that I get the highest quality service from that animal. So for example, when I wanted sheep, I researched Romneys and I re researched Shetlands and fell in love with them because they do really well on pasture. They are happy to be on grass, which we have plenty of, and they don't need a lot of supplemental feed to close nutritional gaps. So that's why I got the Romneys and the Shetlands. I got the Clydesdales because I wanted horses that yes, I could ride, but I could uh, use for pulling and they are meant and bred to do that. Um, the other thing about a lot of the animals we have here is they are endangered. There aren't that many Clydesdales, which is why I was excited to bring them in. There aren't that many magpie ducks and conas, cotton patch geese, Sebastopols, large dulad palouse. I could go on. A lot of the animals that I choose to keep here not only fulfill a role, but we help to populate their numbers. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanna to touch on is just stock density. So what that means is not oversaturating your land with too many of the same kind of animal. An ecosystem is a balance and there can be too much of a good thing. So I would love to have another horse maybe someday, but I know that it's gonna throw my pastures out of whack. And so I'm probably gonna be feeding more hay. Uh, so right now two is good. We also have the five sheep. I don't really think I need any more. If they lamb, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I have no plans to breed my sheep. Um, I don't have a need for goats. One small hoofstock animal serves my needs. So I have uh, grassy vegetation. They take care of that for me. I don't need to bring in goats unless I had a lot of weedy vegetation. Catch what I'm saying? We touched on stock density. If you want more information about that, just Google stock density calculator on Google. I'll also have uh, information on that in my book with regards to pasture management and rotation, the sustainable homestead coming out March 28th of next year, but you can pre-order now. So we talked about stock density. We talked about um, animals having a job to begin with before they even get to the farm and not just retrofitting them because I really just want to make an excuse to have them. And then lastly, we also talked about endangered um, breeds and how that relates to uh, livestock conservancy.